Hey everyone, hopefully this video will go quickly. I just wanted to show you something really cool that I found called AOMI One Key Recovery. Uh, it is a really neat program in that it creates a factory recovery partition or a factory like recovery partition. So if you have like a Dell or HP, etc., a laptop, uh, the almost always come with a recovery partition rather than actually coming with any disks anymore. So what you would normally do is you would reboot your laptop if if something went wrong and it would usually give you an F11 prompt and then you'd press that button and it would go into recovery uh, environment where you can actually restore your laptop to uh, factory settings. So this program actually allows you to do the same thing uh, which is really cool. Uh, the first thing we need to do is download it. I've already done that, but go ahead and click on the download freeware. And I've actually installed it as well, but I went and put it into my downloads. So when it comes up, just go through all the prompts and install it like a normal program. I'm not going to do that now because I've already done it. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like and I'm running this on a virtual machine as you can see and actually I've gone through it once before and it works great so what happens right off the bat is you have two choices system backup or system recovery so if you have obviously if you if you are running this for the first time system backup will be your choice and you have two different choices within this uh, next setup and that's either backup system to AOMI one key recovery partition recommended now this is great if you have a single drive uh, just a C partition if you have enough space hopefully AOMI will actually create the partition for you that it requires to um, backup your entire system so it's good if you if you've done a uh, fresh install of Windows and you want to have your own um, recovery part uh, recovery setup so that if anything goes wrong you can go back to that so you can get everything set up drivers any applications that you want to have and then you'll click on this one or leave it on this one and then the second choice is backing up to um, a different location and that's what I've done because on this particular virtual machine I have a second virtual hard drive that I'm using as my backup point. So what I'm going to do because I've already actually gone through the setup and the actual creation of my recovery I am going to uh, cut to the scenes that I actually created earlier that shows just the progress of it and uh, it won't take long just so you guys have an idea of what it looks like so I'll do that now so that you can see that and then I'll come back when it's actually finished and then we'll continue on from there it came back into the Windows PE environment and you can see that it's continuing on to do the image itself Now this part at least on the laptop took a little bit of time um, I did have almost 30 gigs on the hard drive of the Dell laptop so it can take a bit of time to get this finished so I'm going to stop the video again and you'll see me in a couple seconds so everything worked really good with the um, image creation or the recovery creation but what I want to show you guys is what happens when you restart your computer you're going to get an F11 prompt and for some reason on the on the um, virtual machine it doesn't seem to catch it I can't catch it fast enough but it does give you this screen so um, Windows 7 will boot up as your first choice within a couple seconds if you don't uh, arrow key down to this selection here enter into AOMI one key recovery but I'm gonna click on that it's gonna go back into the Windows PE environment and then we are going to test the recovery now because it didn't actually go into the actual one key recovery part 
Um, I can't show that to you on this, but I can show you if you do go the other route. It should work the same way, basically. So this time I'm going to choose recovery. It's not letting me use the one um, image in the recovery partition, so I'm going to go find it. And what I did was I put it onto my, my secondary virtual drive. It's in system backup. And I'll go ahead and open that. And I'll click restore. And now I'm assuming this will probably take several minutes to finish. So again, I'm going to stop the video. And once I return, I will show you the end results. All right, it finished the recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And then I'm going to exit out. And it reboots the virtual machine. That was unfortunately a roundabout way of doing the same thing. When I actually went into the recovery by pressing F11 on the Dell laptop, it actually took me right into the recovery. And then I was able to actually make the choice there. And it automatically found the recovery based on the partition that it had created. All right, we're back up and running again. No issues with it. Of course, I didn't actually change anything on the actual virtual machine, so I guess I can't really show you the difference between them. I, I probably should have deleted something or messed something up, but it actually does work. It works very well. It's a fantastic program. I hope that it helps you guys out, everybody out there who's looking to have a uh, recovery on their computer. So if you like the video, you know, please subscribe. If uh, you need any help, just let me know. I'll do my best to give you a hand if I can. I'll have the website address down in the uh, description down below. So take care, everyone.